loot from catacombs levels 1 to 24. believe it or not from our last episode we were able to achieve two goals but before we can get into that if you're here for the title please skip to this timeline but hey welcome back this is episode two for how to be a dungeon on these two days we hit enchanting level 36 that is the only enchanting that we actually needed not level 45 that i thought we needed this means we can actually use overload legion and of course soul eater for our sexy juju bow. the other goal that we hit was catacombs level 24 this means we are finally able to wear necron armor and be able to go face to face with all catacombs mobs which was amazing this video i'll show you all the loot i have obtained and honestly i was quite disappointed because i thought i would drop at least something crazy on like just recombobulators all over the place but from catacombs levels 0 to 24 i have done one entrance floor one floor one 12 floor three seven floor fours 25 and around i guess 30 floor fives and of course 42 floor sixes so i've made around 6.5 million coins in essence which was honestly very surprising because i didn't know you can make that much money in essences i've dropped so many wisdom books ultimate wise and overload and legion books so let's say we've made around i guess 2 million from then and lastly from merge drops we have dropped seven recombobulators which is very sad because honestly i thought i was gonna drop something crazy right with the current prices of recombobulators and all of our loot combined we have made around 18 million coins in total uh maybe a little bit more give or take right so nine mil a day is actually quite impressive for uh, a newer player which was actually i I'm, I'm satisfied i'm satisfied with the money of the outcome that we had right but uh one thing that i just want to share with you guys is the way I leveled up my catacombs is I mainly was a healer, tried to get milestone level 9. Because if you guys do not know, if you guys get milestone 9, you'll get way more XP as per se you are getting milestone 3 all the time, right? But the strat I was using was letting my mage use a massive armor and a wand of strength, right? The way it works is that he has tons of health with massive, which allows him to spam the wand of strength. The wand of strength basically uses 10% of your health to give other players strength. But that being said, right, it is an infinite healing method which allows you to get milestone level 9 like so fast, which is like around 30 seconds, which is really, really impressive. And if you guys are not doing that stride to get milestone level 9 with a buddy, uh, you guys should totally do that. Um, but yeah, today's video sponsor, uh, I know it's kind of late in the video, but hey, thank you guys so much for still being a membership on my YouTube channel. I am very, very sorry that I can't really stream all the time because uh, my proxies are being really, really bad right now and I don't know how to fix it. So stay tuned for high quality content videos since I can't stream, you know what I'm saying? Hey. But yeah, my voice is, I'm getting a little bit sick because winter is coming, yeah. Uh, so excuse my uh, monotone voice. But yeah, I hope everybody's having a great Thanksgiving. I am, I am stuffed, honestly. And tomorrow I'll be heading over to my buddy's house, you know what I'm saying, grab me a plate of that little turkey. But yeah, thank you guys so much for the recent support on my YouTube channel. Wow, I did not expect my videos to do this good. But hey, if you guys are here, you guys are here, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.